Hi, welcome to Biology in a Minute. I'm Miss Feldbush. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are very small. They came first before eukaryotic cells. If you look at the word prokaryotic, um, pro means before, and karyote is talking about the nucleus. Literally, it means kernel or nugget. Um, so prokaryotic cells are lacking a kernel or nugget, therefore they have no nucleus. In addition to not having a nucleus, they're lacking any organelle inside that has a membrane. So no mitochondria, no Golgi apparatus, not even an endoplasmic reticulum to call its own. Therefore, it remains very small. Um, it's just got this little nucleoid region inside, and the nucleoid region has DNA, because obviously it needs that in order to survive. It's got some very small ribosomes, um, and then it might have some pili and some flagellum to help it move around. But it's a very primitive and very simple organism. There are two main groups of prokaryotic organisms that you need to know about. Um, they're both basically bacteria, but one's called an archaea, which is an ancient bacteria, um, and then there are the bacteria that you might have heard of, like Salmonella and E. coli that give you food poisoning, or Streptococcus that gives you strep throat. Um, so even though they're very small and not very well organized, they are very successful and you'll find them in lots of places. Eukaryotic cells are much larger than prokaryotic cells, and the main reason that they can be much larger is because they have little organelles and compartments inside, and those different organelles inside give them a lot more surface area. And because they have compartments to put things into, they can become more specialized, and then they can get much larger as a result. Um, so these cells definitely have a nucleus, but in addition to having a nucleus, they'll have all of those other organelles that contain membranes, things like the mitochondria, the chloroplast, the endoplasmic reticulum, and the Golgi bodies. There are two main types of eukaryotic cells that you should know about. Um, they're really more similar than they are different. Most of the organelles in plant cells and animal cells are exactly the same, um, but they have just a few differences in structures. You'll find chloroplasts in plant cells because they need to carry out photosynthesis, um, and because they often belong to plants which don't have a skeletal system, each individual cell basically has its own little skeleton around it. And so that's the cell wall, which is made out of cellulose. Animal cells, on the other hand, often belong to animals um, which will have some sort of an endoskeleton or exoskeleton of their own and as such each individual cell is um, just surrounded by the cell membrane with no cell wall. They do however have one unique organism which is the centriole um, and it helps with the reproductive process. When the animal cell needs to divide it has to kind of pinch into and so the centrioles help with that. But other than those three organelles, the chloroplast, the cell wall, and the centriole, most of the organelles are the same between the plant and the animal cell. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.